Hey there guys, what's up? It's General Secure with more Star Wars The Force Unleashed at last. Since I think some of you may have been waiting for this. But yeah, I can uh, narrate this today because of my exams taking a bit of a slow break. Yeah, my next exams next Wednesday, so... I don't have to start studying full time right away. Hence why I'm making this video for you guys. Anyways, we're still in the uh the Rebel Starship. Boba Fett took Juno. I'm locking down the engine room until you clear it out. And we're trying to help Coda to clear the ship from Imperials. Ah oh, great, Missile Walker. But we're back in the uh, burner room, which is awesome. I really like those burners. Like, I love defeating enemies by using the environment. That's like, uh, in, uh, for example, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I'm sure some of you know that game. It's a really good game. I'd love to LP it, but there's... Oh, wait, I can LP it now because I don't need to pause the cutscenes anymore because the time limit's gone. But yeah, I'm not really sure if you guys want to watch an hour and a half of cutscenes. So yeah. Uh, anyways, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, one of my favorite things to do in that game. It's like in really early in the game, you have this suspension bridge over a chasm. Now what I like to do is uh, use the tranquilizer gun to stun enemies and then just let them drop off the uh, bridge and fall into the cliff. Like, I love defeating enemies with the environment. That's also why I really like Red Faction Guerrilla. Because that game really has awesome physics. Like, you can simply lure your enemies into a building, then run outside, grab your hammer, smash the freaking building to pieces and uh, bring the ceiling down upon the enemies and I level up lightning to three and now it's purple and super strong and we get a trophy for it called specialist uh. okay anyways red faction gorilla it's a really good game I'm probably going to LP it soon because uh, there's a sequel coming out next May or something, Red Faction Armageddon. So yeah, I really need to get Red, Red Faction Guerrilla done before then. Oh, there's one more down here. Whoa, that was close. Freaking burner. Anyways, you might have also noticed I'd started using the uh, Saber Force combos. That's the last of them. Now, get moving. Like, I used them a few times in the first Force Unleashed LP. But I haven't really used them up until this point, you know, the uh, saber attack followed by force push or lightning. And we find the saber crystal, let's see what it is. Uh, I think it was this one, meditation. Nah. All the one second thought. Yeah, let's use it, we have blue and green now, that's cool. Okay, elevator moves up. Oh, and uh, before I forget, I also need to give a shout out to probably one of my biggest fans. The little sister of one of my friends. She's a really big fan of my videos and whenever I go over to my friend's house, she's always telling me like how awesome my videos are and how they mean the world to her and whatnot. So, Meryl, here's a shout out to you. I'm probably going to hear about that the next time I go over to Yuri's house. Anyways, we're back here in the chasm that the uh, giant spider droid wrecked. And it's time for some force grip platforming puzzles. And then just butcher these guys. Huh. Wonder how the spider droid came through here and not destroyed those bridges. 
Okay, down here. What's in this hole? There's a sniper. And he dares hit me with his gun and he loses his head for that. Yeah, that's uh, if you level up your sabers in this game, you'll start seeing limbs flying all over the place. Like, there's a whole bunch of arms on the floor now. Some of those stormtroopers are missing arms. Which uh, is actually... Losing an arm is a good thing in the Star Wars universe because you get a kick-ass robot arm in return. I mean, who wouldn't want a kick-ass robot arm? I'd want a kick-ass robot arm. Because robot arms are cool. And this place is also teeming with jump troopers. So I'm just going to run for it like a little bitch. And just get the hell out of here. And apparently things are going pretty bad on the outside. Oh, that has to be one of them boarding pods. Aw, oh, man, not one of those. I hate those things. They're like the new purge troopers. And this one shoots missiles. And his shield is red. And he's also colored red. So, what can this thing do? Well, not much. Because I'm shocking the crap out of it. Die. Oh crap, he has a flamethrower. Ooh, that's not good. I'd prefer the carbonite one. At least that one was easy. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Okay, we push him a lot. And I mean really a lot. And then what? Yeah, we dodge him. Uh, where did that fire suddenly come from? Ah, who cares, he blows himself up. Works for me. And there was a saber crystal in here, so I'm checking that out. See if it's another pretty colored one. Uh, oh, it's an orange one. Incineration. Put your enemies on fire. That's pretty neat. I might use that later on, but I'm sticking with blue and green now. Because blue and green are cool. Okay. Ah, oh, not another one. I mean, I beat the last one like 10 seconds ago. It's not fun. And more saber guys. I do not like the saber guys. But they're easy to kill because they, they're not even immune to your force powers. And the flamethrower droid's raping me. It's crisping my ass. It's not good. Hey, right, saber guy, you're not supposed. Whoa, what happened there? Did I like knock the saber guy into the droid or something? I guess. Okay, let's kill this thing. Same repetitive animation. Why does this have to take freaking forever? But at least now we can figure out what the hell's going on. Like. He sticks his lightsabers in the floor, fire comes out, and the droid explodes. I don't get it. Anyways, this time, this power core thing is much easier to find. Like, remember in one of the last parts, I know it's a while back, don't be a bitch about that. I've been busy, exams have higher priority. Anyways, remember when the previous one took like 5 minutes to find in the entire freaking room? Yeah, that wasn't really very much fun. Neither are fighting these terror troopers. Because they're freaking teleporting douchebags who aren't fun to fight. Okay, I dash into the room and the entire thing explodes. What the F? Oh, apparently there's like tiny little explosive droids on the walls and the ceiling. Yikes. No, gotta admit, this game actually managed to pull off even more annoying enemies than the first one. And I remember in my LP of the first one, I bitched a lot about purge troopers and felutions and rancors and ATSTs and crap like that. Well, the terror troopers and spider droids and those big shielded flamethrower droids are much worse. Trust me. Well, 
they're pretty easy if you use Force Fury, but I really don't know why I haven't been using that. Because it's really helpful. Oh, door opens. Oh, great, I see another flamethrower droid. Just smash it with his own shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, little repulse auto work. Oh, sweet, mind trick also works on those guys. And saber throw for the win. The double saber throw is pretty awesome, though. I'll give the game that. Okay, push isn't gonna do anything against that thing. Saber throw, that stuns him. Lightning does something. I missed the overpowered lightning from the first game. That was just awesome. Okay, he's dead. Time for more repetitive half minute quick time events. Okay, so the droid sparks sudden ball of fire. I don't know where the hell that comes from and why it doesn't destroy his lightsabers. But yeah. Mm, is that like push thing? Repulse thing? Apparently not. Why make a broken door like that if you can't push it? Like, that's just deceiving me. And I do not like to be deceived. I like to be the one doing the deceiving. That's more fun. And you may slot the power core over there. At least they're much easier to find now. Go through the doorway. Then every single area on this ship looks freaking the same. I mean, I still find it hard to believe, like... How LucasArts managed to blow this game to just ruin this game's development so bad. I mean, it's like you'd expect a sequel to be better than the original game, but it just isn't for some reason. This looks bad, Coda. Leave the pessimism to proxy. The guns are online and we're still flying. Not pessimism, General. Pragmatism. I'm sorry. Uh, pardon the gunnery, General. I'm on it. Don't let them near the main cannon! Oh man, I love how Starkiller just cuts off Proxy in the middle of his sentence, like... Dude, be nice, he's your droid, he's only trying to help you and you just cut him off. That's mean. Starkiller's a douchebag. Okay, what's this? Okay, we can shoot the cannon by zapping it. And what purpose does that serve? I don't see the Star Destroyer blowing up in the background. Oh, you're supposed to grip it out. I see. Yeah, that's a real good thing. You know, we're under attack and you go around taking the batteries out of the guns. So yeah, just like, oh yeah, I need to go through this door. Let's just uh, destroy our only means of defense to do so. It's like, dude, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, more saber guy. Die already. My double backflip thing. Aw oh, man, another shield droid. I mean, really. Have you guys also noticed that, like, this game has, uh, doesn't nearly offer as much variety in the enemies as the first game? Like in the first game, you pretty much okay. You had the standard Imperials on every planet, but you also had uh, Coda's men in the Tie Fighter facility and the scrap droids on Raxus Prime, the Felucians on Felucia, Wookies, Rodians, just much more variety. I mean, here are just stormtroopers, saber guys, and shield droids, with the occasional missile walker in between. It's like. Where did they go wrong? I wonder. Oh, and also the, uh... They apparently already released the first piece of DLC for this. It's like an Endor map. Which is, uh, like... Like the DLC for the first Force on is like a what-if story. 
And apparently it only costs one buck, so yeah, I'm probably gonna pick that up sometime. I mean, one buck's really cheap. Anyways, we're coming up on the time limit, even though I know there's no time limit anymore. But I'll see you guys in the next part, so see you guys later. Bye-bye.